I just called South Station again. I, I call police stations around the country every day and night. I've called hundreds of them in the past two months. I don't know how many hundreds. And to say thank you. And I say thanks. When, when a dispatcher or an officer picks up the phone, I say thank you. Thanks for being a, a, a public lifeguard because you are you're a hero. You're a superman or a superwoman. Thanks for doing the most difficult and dangerous job in the country, and that is speaking to total strangers who are usually in some sort of life crisis. Maybe maybe they're committing a crime or they're being the victim of a crime or they're suicidal or something terrible is happening and you have to calmly assess the situation and make a decision what to do. Do you dispatch uh, officers to, to, to help the person? Because that's what officers do. They, they, they don't generally murder people like George Floyd, although that does happen and there are terrible police officers. I know because I, I have encountered a few. But by and large, they're wonderful people who try to de-escalate human dramas and, and make things better. They try to look the other way. They try to make people feel safe and secure. and feel They try to be... I, I don't like to use cliches, but you have to. They, they, they try to be uh, uh, pacifists and angels on earth. Most of them really are. They're constrained by the famous, uh, the infamous blue coat of silence. They can't rat on the few bad officers that they know are in their midst. That's never going. It's never going to happen. It's just the way people are. Judges don't rat on other judges, and lawyers don't rat on other j- lawyers, and and so forth. And I'm not the perfect piano tuning genius, but I am pretty good. I've been doing this for over 45 years. And there, in the background, you see uh, an album of Earl Wilde playing. He he was a famous concert pianist for decades. He, in fact, he's the first man ever to play concert piano on live TV, on television in 1939 in New York City. And he was my friend, and I'm the piano technician for that album and for many other albums in that, in that series of famous albums by Audiophon. I'm not a bad guy. Well, the point is, nobody has a more difficult job than a police officer. And if I call police stations because I'm lonely and because I'm, I'm sad, and I say... Thanks, you picked up on the first ring, because if I was in trouble, if I was hurting, if I was having a heart attack or a panic disorder, there you were. You would have made a decision to send somebody out to help me and save my life. And that makes you a public hero, it makes you a lifeguard, because if you did it for me, you'd do it for other people too. And I'm sure it happens every day that you have to save people from themselves, because that's usually what it is. It's not usually an attack from elephants or, or lions or tigers, it's, it's people hurting themselves or hurting other people because they're angry or upset. And police officers mostly defuse these situations. They're not out there to, to arrest you or give you a ticket or, 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 or put you in jail. They have to do that sometime. But, but, you know, I admire them so much. And I don't think it's harassment to call a police station and say, thanks, Officer Ivy. I'm using your name. I just talked to you. You're very sweet. Thank you for listening to me. And I hope you enjoy this little video. Okay, my name is Reed Welch, R-E-I-D Welch, and I live in Coconut Grove in this house for 38 years. And uh, life is a little difficult at times, but, you know, we'll get by as long as we take care of each other. Thank you. Bye-bye.